all right in this tutorial we'll learn about cloning web app why do we need to clone web app because let's say there is a production environment and we don't want to disrupt our web app and want to do an identical copy and independent uh, testing of it then we need to clone the app so let's begin uh, the tutorial i'm here in the azure portal let's go to the app service let's create a web app we'll be creating the architecture entirely from the scratch that is if you don't have any experience you can follow along these steps with me so let's select one resource group since if you look in the architecture diagram we have the uh, app in the east us region so that's why let's create uh, the web app in the east us region right so I have selected East US. Let's uh, name it Cloud Guru Amit. Cloud Guru Amit Web App East US because I'll be uh, selecting the region as East US, right? So as to identify that is this is my East US uh, app. Next, select uh, the uh, runtime stack. We can select anything ASP.NET v4.8 looks fine. So let's uh, go down. We can create a Windows plan. Let's name it Web App Plan. Now in the pricing, it looks uh, good. Standard S1 redundancy, it's fine. We don't want uh, the uh, database and all. Next, go to deployment. Everything looks good. I'll be directly going to the monitor and secure and check application insights. We don't need so that it will accumulate extra billing we'll go to review and create directly and click on create so deployment is in progress so let's check the uh, status where we are so we have uh, almost created this one that is the web app is in the east uh, us now our next task will be once the deployment is done or success we will be cloning the app to uh, another region that is central us all right we'll be creating identical copy of this web app so let's uh, go down to the portal the, our deployment is complete we'll go to the resource group and so this is uh, our uh, web app in the east us if we look so if we uh, look under the development tools we got a option that is clone app i'll uh, click on it clone app next we need to name our uh, uh, the cloned version of the app let's name it cloud guru amit cloud guru amit web app central us central us because uh, we are selecting uh, the uh, region as uh, central us so please note as soon as i select central us it gives uh, us a warning your source and target apps are different region this may impact compliance data agency data latency and uh, billing uh, bandwidth right so you got to be uh, noting this uh, factor as well so for now if we look at the architecture diagram since our um, cloud guru amit web app clone is in the central us so this uh, looks good as per the architecture diagram so we can uh, uh, there are also options to try a new default uh, like uh, host name um, windows plan again uh, like uh, we are not configuring it and by default if you check the pricing plan it has selected the the same thing by default for the original uh, like um, the web app which we have created in the east region that is standard s1 so everything is by default let's uh, click on the magic button that is clone cloning takes some time i have seen from my experience around 5 to 10 minutes it might take depending upon uh, when we create or so let's wait for a while till our uh, cloning gets complete our cloning is in progress i'll uh, quickly duplicate this tab to uh, show you what's there uh, till now and the uh, deployment status for uh, our uh, web app so if you go here and uh, go one step back maybe app services so currently if you can see uh, in the app services east us uh, uh, web app is uh, currently ready status it shows are uh, running right if we uh, check here that is this one is up and running so now we are cloning the app to central us it will create exactly identical copy of the web app right it's let's say this is the production web app this is uh, i'll be creating mimicking uh, in another region the uh, production web app right we can play around with it even so let's uh, wait for a while till our uh, deployment get succeeded all right our cloning got succeeded how do we know if we check the notification bar uh, we can see cloning uh, east us succeeded uh, let's close the notification we'll go back here and click on the refresh button and wait for a while it takes some time because uh, as soon as you click 
on the refresh and uh, your deployment is succeeded it doesn't mean it will appear uh, once uh, suddenly you got to wait for a few seconds and uh, then click on the refresh it should work all right after around 30 seconds our uh, second uh, web app that is the cloned one if you look web app clone this what we have named right uh, central us location this one is up and running uh, you can see the status is running central uh, location is central us so that what uh, concludes this tutorial that is we have sub successfully cloned the web app uh, present in the location east us to central us location with uh, identical features thank you so much for watching this video all right let's tackle some quiz related to security we'll first look at option a is is managed entity a managed entity can provide authentication for azure resource but if you look at the question there is a mention of on premises as well which managed identity cannot provide authentication right hence incorrect choice don't just pass your ready certification instead pass with flying colors with my keyword tricks included in the pdf exclusively for diamond members and above become a member now by clicking the join button to unlock this perk then please connect an inbox on linkedin at the rate of cloud guru amit or instagram at the rate of amit physique for the pdf access let's look at option c c is personal access token also known as pat personal access tokens are user specific tokens generated within an azure databricks workspace personal access tokens are useful for individual users but are not suitable for apps deployed across multiple uh, regions or locations as mentioned in the question additionally managing pat for each application will increase administrative effort which we definitely don't want therefore incorrect choice let's look at option d d says all the above since we have already rejected option a and c it cannot be all the options so d is also out we are left out with option b service principle and it is the correct answer okay let's look at some performance related to database question we'll first look at option a this is azure cache for redis azure cache for redis can minimize delays in data request during high utilization periods let's keep this option aside we'll look at option b now pc is azure content delivery network also known as cdn azure content delivery network can be used to cache static content but it cannot minimize uh, the delay request or uh, the data data request delays from backend service like azure sql database therefore we'll reject this option let's move to option c c is azure data factory there is no mention of data transformations or extract transform load etl in the equation therefore azure data factory is out now let's move to option d d says azure synapse analytics the question if we read is not about big data analytics service therefore azure synapse synapse analytics cannot help this is also out we are left out with option a that is azure cache for redis and it is the correct answer if you want the pdf version of this course please enroll in diamond membership or above then connect and inbox me on linkedin at the rate of cloud guru amit or instagram at the rate of amit physique for the pdf access so please 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 don't go away and all the best for your exam